Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. So Genevieve had her first day of work today and she seems to have enjoyed it pretty well. She's still quite tired though, or not really that much, but I would like for her to sleep a little bit more because she would like to practice her magic today and continue improving her rank as a spellcaster. As for Astrid, I had her work on her gardening skill and I think she's not that far from reaching level 5. She's at 72%. I don't think any of the plants needs to be to be watered or anything, but I can actually have her sell all of her all of the plants here. Although maybe she should harvest the mandrakes and the valerian root because these can be quite handy when it comes to making potions. Uh, but actually, let's have her get up and. I know that I've been trying to find this spotted dirt frog for a very long time, but I'm kind of giving up to this and I'm probably just going to have Astrid brew a random potion so we can make good fortune, plentiful needs and perk purgeon. We have Mandrake and Valerian root in the garden and she's going to harvest those, those anyway, so let's go ahead and brew a potion of perk purgeon. And with this potion, Astrid will be moving on to the next and last milestone of her aspiration. I don't exactly remember what she'll need to do for that one, but we'll still have a little bit of work to do for the, the potion making and I guess we'll need to discover some more some more potions as well. As for Genevieve, she still needs to reach Spellcaster rank 3. How far is she actually from that rank? Oh, actually, yeah, she's quite far away from that rank apparently. Uh, she needs to win three duels against other spellcasters, so she might need to go back to the magic realm to do those things. And she needs to know five different spells, she already knows four. And also, Gem and Crystal aged up into adults, and look who's licking the puddle, that's disgusting. Frugal Astrid saved ingredients while crafting Potion Perk Purgeon. Cool. So I guess she didn't use anything. But yeah, Crystal and Gem aged up into adult cats. I'm going to get them to the vet and spay them. I think these two are girls, I'm not so sure now. Oh no, why do you wake her up? Alright, so Astrid finished brewing this potion here, so we should definitely bottle up all. And she needs now to reach Spellcaster rank 3 Virtuoso, which I don't think she's really far from. And she needs to know 10 different potions. She already knows 5, so I guess she could maybe experiment a bit more on the cauldron. Uh, but first, let's go up there, use, and I guess she could do the Scrooberoo. This is a spell, the Scrooberoo and Reparo. These two are spells that I would like for Genevieve to know. Alright, Genevieve, outfits, change outfits. I think I managed, yes, I changed her first everyday outfit because the pants were missing. I think I was using a piece of CC which, you know, was made from the, the pair of jeans that we got with Get Famous with this kind of makeup pocket on the side and the CC, the piece of CC that I was using just removed that pocket. But for some reason it didn't want to work in the, on this save and I don't know why. Uh, but let's go ahead, familiars, actually, let's go ahead and summon the familiar. And then I would like to practice the mischief magic. Let's go ahead and summon Orion. Look at this majestic raven, it's beautiful. Genevieve's familiar has magically sent her a gift into her inventory, one koi, cool. Oh no, something's broken, can we use the reparo? Yes, we can, I guess. Magic, reparo. And there you go. Astrid actually never, never misses up a spell, which is great. Let's go Scrooberoo. Yep, and let's go and Scrooberoo this one. Although I need to make sure that her spellcaster charge is not too charged, otherwise she might get cursed. And let's go um, Scrooberoo this thing as well. Do we need to Scrooberoo the toilets? No, I think they're okay. Alright, let's go downstairs. She's feeling inspired from her charge, which I don't think happens to her very often, so let's go ahead and experiment. Hopefully, I don't know if she's going to get cursed. This could be quite interesting. I'm pretty sure that Astrid would be very careful and she would be she would be paying attention, you know, not trying to get cursed or anything, but maybe this is something that happens to her occasionally. Look at that, she has some thunder kind of going through her because of her spellcaster charge. With this that's also another reason why I would like for for Genevieve to work even more on her practical spells and using the Scrooberoo and the Pero spells because these are I feel like the easiest spells to use and that can actually increase your spellcaster charge. I wonder if she's going to learn a new, a new potion. How is Genevieve going? She's having fun actually. 
I didn't know she could actually have fun while doing some spells like this. Will and Mina! Actually, let's stop this and let's give a pep talk to Will and Mina. Can we ask to hang out? We can ask about day. Something cool that we can do maybe is duel with her, just have a friendly duel. Oh, we have bills to pay! Okay, uh, let's go here and pay the bills. Maybe we can compliment her appearance quickly. Oh, Judy. Judy Morrison is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Uh, no, mom. <laughs> but thank you. Alright, and then I think it could be fun to just go ahead and have a magic duel. Maybe we can duel for knowledge. I think Genevieve would be all about knowledge. And I wonder if this time Genevieve is going to to beat Wilhelmina because she's increasing quite well on her magical rank. So she should be able to f to to win the battle this time. All right, let's see. I really like this dual interaction between the Sims. I think it's really cool. Ah, oh, she doesn't know how to use her shield anymore. She was using it so much last time. I mean, this time as well, she has a wand. Oh no, she's losing again. <laughs> I don't know why she's losing all the time. She wants to go for a jog. Maybe she can, actually. Maybe she's a little bit frustrated. Let's go on an energized jog. How is Astrid going? She's hungry. She's going to eat something, but she did not discover another potion. Hmm. Alright, so Astrid is done eating, and something that I thought she could do today was to hang out with the good timers. I hope that she would have discovered another potion today, but that's fine, you know, she can work on that later. I really wanted for her to hang out with the good timers because it's been a while. And she would like to introduce Icarus to, to the good timers because she thinks it could be a club that could welcome him pretty, pretty nicely. And I think he could fit pretty well in this club. And there's one more spot in the club. So let's see if Icarus can actually join. And there you go. Let's start the gathering. It was definitely very simple to add him into into the club for sure. And she's still... Look at all those kind of lightning bolts that are going through her. But let's go and talk to Icarus. I'm sure he's happy to, to be a part of a group like this. Because, you know, he's all new in the neighborhood. And even though Astrid kind of met Bjorn, Dominic, Mila and all of the group... She, I, I think she has known them for a little bit more, you know, a little bit longer than Icarus. So she's definitely really happy to, to have him be a part of the club. And for some reason, she doesn't know Mila. She should definitely introduce herself with Mila. Let's discuss of recharge risk because we are at risk right now. Do we go for a duel as well? You know what? I kind of want to go for a duel, although we should go somewhere at the back where no one could see us because we are in Windenburg. And by the way, Lucy asked a pretty interesting question in the comments of the last part. So Lucy asked, in your opinion, in the story, does the rest of the magic world know that Astrid was the girlfriend of the person who nearly destroyed the, the magic realm? And if they do, do they treat her any worse because of it? Also, do you think the non-magical people know about the existence of magic? And I answered saying, I think some of Astrid's friends knew that she was the, she was in love with the person who almost destroyed the magic realm, but they never treated her bad because of what he did, because of that person did. And they, you know, they, they were able to make the difference between who he was and who she is. But the rest of the magical world has no idea that Astrid was in a relationship with the guy that almost destroyed everything. And there might have been some reporters who looked up the story of that guy and found out that he was indeed in love with someone. But I think that Astrid's old friends made sure that, uh, you know, to hide the fact that it was her and, you know, to protect her in a way. Because after all, she fought alongside them to protect the magic realm and she had in a way to kill the, the love of her life who before he destroyed everything. And also, I don't think that the, ma the, the non-magical people know about the existence of magic and especially of the magic realm. I think, you know, that they read stories, they watch movies, just like we do here in, in real life. But I don't think they know that it's real until, you know, someone, a spellcaster, proves them otherwise that magic actually exists. So I thought it was a pretty interesting question and it was indeed something that needed to be clarified, I think. This was not something that I would have thought of myself. So thank you very much for asking that question, Lucy. Uh, oh no, come on, come with us. But yeah, that's why also I would like for 
Astrid and Icarus to be careful around non-spellcaster people. This way, you know, they're going to go and duel together, but I'd like to make sure that no one sees them, because otherwise they would have to explain to that person that, no, no, we're not magical. They need to keep it a secret, kind of, to protect spellcasters from human sims, you know? All right. Before you run off again, let's go magic, magic duel. Let's go and duel for knowledge again. Maybe he can teach us a, a potion of some kind. And I just realized... Do you see the the terrain paint around here? It's kind of strange. Oh no, he's in a conversation with other people. Hopefully they're not going to duel in front of everyone. I might have to cancel the interaction. Maybe she's asking him, you know what, let's go, let's go and discuss at the back. Alright, well, they're just going to fight apparently in, the, in front of everyone in the street. <laughs> Maybe no one is going to see them. Well, apparently this guy saw them and he's afraid. Marcus Worthington. Can we do something to him? Can we... Or maybe he's a spellcaster too, because apparently she can talk about potion mishaps with him, so he must be a spellcaster as well. Maybe he knows that... Oh, Astrid is winning! She's so powerful! He must know her, you know, maybe he was a student of her? copy paste Turn one small object into many. Cool, thank you, Icarus. Let's go and hug him. Oh, discuss angry mood. He's angry because he lost. Hey, that's fine. I think he won last time. Let's go and tell an inside joke. Uh, let's, uh, let's enthuse about magic. But yeah, I think this guy, Marcus Worthington, is actually a spellcaster. I, I'm pretty sure I saw him as well in the in the magic realm at some point. So I'm okay, you know, not, not non-magical people saw them fight in the middle of the street, but it's raining right now, maybe they should go inside. Is Mila downstairs? Yes, Mila is, is downstairs, so let's go and play. Maybe Icarus can join. Or actually, can we go ahead and... Free love? Oh well, we'll see some people walking around naked. Oh, actually, is it in this neighborhood or is it in our neighborhood? I never know. We'll have to check at the house, but... Yeah, we might see some people walking around naked, which I guess is fine. Uh, Alright, so let's go here and play together. Let's play Don't Wake the Llama together. Maybe we can play some darts as well. I think this is one of the, the activities that Bjorn loves to do. Every time I have one of my sim be a part of this club, he goes to the darts and keeps playing darts all night. Oh no, Icarus lost! <laughs> Astrid is still overcharged. That's crazy. Can she talk to him, although... I don't think sims can actually talk to each other when when they're playing this game. Oh, and Mila is here. Hopefully they're going to get to know each other. I don't think Mila and Astrid would have a lot in common, but I think these two would be people who would get along pretty well. You know, you don't have to be similar to someone to actually get along with them. But I mean, the both of them are kind of interested in cooking things, even though Astrid is potions and Mila is it's food. It's kind of related in that sense. But I'm really glad that Astrid joined this club. I think she... I think it suits her really well. And it goes along with what she wants in her life now. She doesn't want to think, overthink things too much. She just wants to enjoy the, the present moment and make friends, which is great because she's, I think, making friends right now. Well, kind of. She's kind of improving her relationship with Bjorn. She hasn't met Mila yet. Let's do, let's do a cheerful introduction. So we should stop playing this game. Alright, so now she knows everyone in the club. Let's go and chat a bit more with Mila. Let's go and get to know. And I don't know, let's oh no, she's leaving. Well then never mind. Let's you know what? Let's join let's join the game. Apparently Bjorn and Icarus are the people who want to hang out with Astrid today. As for Genevieve, as she was just eating some dinner alone at the house, she received a text from Wilhelmina asking her out for a dance party with some other young adult spellcasters. And of course, Genevieve said yes. So we are at the Discotheque Pan Europa in Windenburg, which is the neighboring town of Glimmerbrook. And Wilhelmina, in a way, she wanted to apologize to Genevieve to have bitten up bitten her up again at a duel because she knows that it kind of gets Genevieve, you know, it makes Genevieve angry to lose so often at a magic duel, so, you know, well, I mean, I wanted to make a gesture and there we are. Plus, you know, I'm sure that the two of them, you know, they know that they have a little bit of a crush on each other. I mean, they kind of flirted together last time, so yeah, could be cool to just 
go ahead and dance together over here. And let's just hang out a little bit with Wilhelmina and some of the other spellcasters that I don't think Genevieve knows that that well. I saw Morgan Tomex uh, and some other people that I don't know. Alright, so Genevieve is actually feeling flirty. Uh, let's have the two of them maybe go here. Let's go here together. So let's go, let's go and make funny faces to, to Wilhelmina and maybe we can dance together. Uh, let's go here, dance together this way. This is going to improve their relationship. The dancing system in The Sims 4 is, I think, a little bit wonky. It's really fun and all, but I don't know, it gets, it can get really, really difficult to just manage The Sims and have them dance exactly where you want them to dance because look at that, they're not really facing each other. Uh, let's go. Can we try to exchange numbers even though I'm sure they do have their numbers? Oh no, that's right. I think they exchanged their numbers last time, so. Oh, let's tell a dirty joke. But yeah, Genevieve is feeling flirty and as you probably know by now, she has a crush on Wilhelmina and well, with the party and everything that's going on right now, she would like to make a move on Wilhelmina and kind of let her know that she, you know, she definitely has a crush on her and she'd like to maybe try something with Wilhelmina. But she's not sure that Wilhelmina is actually taking her advances seriously and she's maybe, you know, Genevieve is worried that Wilhelmina thinks it's just for fun that they're doing this. It's just to be funny when Genevieve is actually really serious. Oh, she wants to confess her attraction. Let's try. And she seems to have taken this well, so maybe there's actually something that can happen between them and they can actually share their first kiss, so it definitely went well. That's really cool. You know what? Let's try to do some sexy pose. Oh, she just blew her a kiss. That's really cool. All right, but I think you know, Genevieve, it's really loud with the music and everything and she would like to maybe go somewhere a little bit more quiet to be able to chat with, with Wilhelmina. She doesn't necessarily have bad intentions, you know, she just would like to be able to chat with her and things seems to be going well with her and Genevieve definitely would like to chat a bit more with Wilhelmina and... You know, just make sure that it's not just in the heat of the moment that Wilhelmina is telling her that she's indeed interested in her and that she would like to be maybe in a relationship with her. She just wants to make sure that it's, you know, they're on the same page. That's important to Genevieve. So let's try to embrace Wilhelmina and see how she reacts. Oh, it's going well. Genevieve seems so happy right now. Let's compliment her appearance again. Uh, we can try to kiss her hands, maybe, you know, this can be kind of their first kiss. But Genevieve, she's really trying to go slowly on this because something that I didn't tell you guys is that ever since she saw Wilhelmina for the very first time, Genevieve has been thinking about her and she cannot get her out of her mind. She keeps thinking about her and she's... Wilhelmina is holding her hands, look at that! Uh, hot and heavy, titillating banter, is this how you would say it? Coy smiles and flirtatious jokes have set the tone for romance. Feeling the butterflies, I can't describe how I feel when I'm with this sim. Exactly what I'm saying. Genevieve, she's definitely falling in love with Wilhelmina. They have gotten to know each other and they still have a lot to know about each other, but you know what? Let's go. Let's try to share our first kiss. I mean, things seem to be going pretty well between them. Oh, look at that. I think it's going well. But yeah, Genevieve, she just keeps thinking about Gene about Wilhelmina. She she has her on her mind and she cannot... She, she's just... She cannot believe that it's true, that it's actually happening. That she's actually... You know, that she actually kissed her. And she, you know, for Genevieve, she still thinks that maybe it's just in her head and that maybe Wilhelmina is not taking this seriously. But just to let you guys know, Wilhelmina is definitely very serious. She's not the kind of person to be as mischievous as Genevieve is. And when Wilhelmina says something, she means it. Oh, look at here, it's Icarus. Maybe maybe the entire the entire club, the good timers ended up here because I see Dominic here, there's Icarus. <laughs> Maybe Astrid was around here as well. But yeah, when Wilhelmina says something, she means it. And she's definitely really attracted to Genevieve and she likes how wild Genevieve can be. She's definitely very intrigued in, in, in Genevieve. While Genevieve, she loves Wilhelmina for how sweet she is and how beautiful she is. And I guess there's a little bit of attraction because of how powerful maybe Wilhelmina can be. Let's go and blow a kiss. 
But things have definitely been been going going Genevieve's way recently. I mean, she's discovered her her place in the world. She she found someone that she loves very much, and she finally feels able to be herself. And she apparently has a good reputation, even though she's been up to no good with a lot of people. Actually, before I end this part, can she maybe be a little bit mischievous to someone? Is there someone downstairs or maybe someone outside that she can be mischievous with? Would she be mischievous to to Dominic or is there someone maybe upstairs? Oh, look at all those people upstairs. They're so tired. You know what? Let's try with Tomix. Let's be a little bit mischievous with Tomix. So let's see, what kind of spell can she do? Uh, let's do Deliriate. I think this is the one that she would find the, the funniest. But she definitely will need to start winning some duels because she, she just keeps losing and I don't know why. What is her spellcaster rank actually? I don't remember. Oh, well, she's an acolyte, so she definitely needs to improve a bit more her spellcaster rank. But I'm really happy for Genevieve to, and for Wilhelmina to, you know, Things are going well between them, so they're not technically girlfriends yet, but it's in a, it's in a good way. <gasps> but Grace is going to see that. Is she going to say something? Oh, she doesn't seem to care. Yeah, Grace didn't seem to care that much about the spell. Maybe Grace is as mischievous as Genevieve. Maybe these two could be good friends. Who knows? But what I'm, th what I think I'm gonna do, guys, is actually end this part here. Genevieve isn't really that tired, but I've been recording for a little while, and quite a few things have happened already. So next time, I think I'm going to have Genevieve go back to the magic realm. I definitely want for Astrid to discover another potion. And I'm sure that she's not really that far from reaching the next rank as a spellcaster. So maybe I can manage to have Gen not Genevieve Astrid reach the next rank as a spellcaster and become a virtuoso. Uh, I don't remember what virtuosos can do, but we'll have to see when that happens. But definitely try to discover another potion tomorrow. And I, I I'm pretty sure that I will have Genevieve go to to the magic realm because we can find to try a or we can try to find sorry a another tome. By the way, I forgot to have her read the one that she has found so i will have her do that tonight because she's not that tired uh but yeah maybe try to find another another tome and study it and maybe also learn another spell and probably as well win some some jewels in the magic realm but i wonder what other potions astrid could discover because she knows five something that i'd like to do as well is actually try to discover all of the potions because there's more than just 10 potions, you have 15, and I'd like to discover the 15 potions. That's what I'd like to do. But yeah, on that note, you guys, I'm actually going to end this part here. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys and reading your comments. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, everyone.